Phasmophobia is one of the best co-op horror games that I can recommend to fans of the genre. But since it's not on macOS, we Mac users need to apply workarounds to play it. Good news is that I found five viable solutions to play it on a Mac, and I'll use the next few minutes to talk about them. If at any point you find yourself overwhelmed with all the information, there is a link to our site in the description where you will find a very structured article on how to play the game. But before you choose which one you want, you'll have to buy the game. To help you, we'll leave links in the description to where you can purchase it, and we'll also add links to discounts when such are available. Now, let's get to the ways to play it. The first method you can use is Boosteroid, the cheapest cloud gaming service that's actually any good. The main draw of cloud gaming is that your machine doesn't matter so long as you can supply it with around 40 megabits of stable internet. And if you've got a faster connection, you can crank up everything to max even in 4K, and you should be more than fine. Now Phasmophobia isn't what I'd call a heavy game, but it still needs decent hardware if you want to run it with high settings and especially in 4K. With Boosteroid or any other cloud service, you don't have to worry about any of that. The cloud servers will take care of any hardware demands the game might throw at you. You can basically max out the game's settings and still hit 120 FPS as long as you've got an okay internet. In my tests, I streamed the game with maxed out graphics and 4K resolution while connected to a 60 megabits wired internet. The result was a near native experience with only occasional stutters that had zero effect on my enjoyment. Obviously, some of you simply want to run the game locally, and I totally get it, but I still think it's worth at least giving the cloud experience a test run. All you have to do to start gaming is follow the link in the description, register for the service, and buy a subscription. Then just search for the game and click play. It's all pretty easy, but we have a how-to tutorial if you need it, and an overview of the service if you want something more in-depth to make up your mind. The next solution is GeForce Now, and it is the largest and most popular cloud gaming service out there. Its pricing is steeper than Boosteroid, but this is somewhat offset by its larger gaming library. Ultimately, the choice between the two depends on personal preference, but I still prefer Boosteroid simply because it gives pretty much the same performance, but at a considerably better price. But if you want the best of the best with all the bells and whistles, go with GeForce Now. Like with Boosteroid, all you need is stable internet with around 40 megabits per second, and you can play games with 1080p and 60 frames per second without any noteworthy lag. And if you've got a faster internet, say around 50 megabits per second, you can stream with 4K and 120 FPS. Using GFN is similarly simple. Just go to the respective link below, click Join Now, pick a preferred plan, and register. Then download the service's macOS app, launch it, and look for Phasmophobia. Then click play, and after logging in, you can start playing. The next solution we want to give you is xCloud, Microsoft's proprietary cloud gaming service. To play Phasmophobia with it, you'll need a game controller connected to your Mac, no keyboard and mouse support here. Personally, I prefer Boosteroid or GFN over xCloud, simply because there's no 4K option here and also because I am not used to playing with a controller. But if this isn't a deal breaker for you, then xCloud is at least worth a try. To use xCloud, go to the link in the description, choose your preferred Game Pass plan on the page that opens and register. After picking a payment method and starting your subscription, make sure you've got a controller connected to your Mac and then just find the game in the xCloud library and click play. Crossover is the go-to method in 2025 if you want to use your Mac's hardware. It will give you the ability to play anywhere you want without internet limitations and scales better with newer Macs, but you're not going to get anywhere near the graphical fidelity or performance you'll have with cloud solutions. The main limitation of crossover is that with most games, some performance will be lost due to the use of translation layers. The good news is that, in the case of Phasmophobia, that problem isn't as significant and also the game itself isn't particularly demanding. Because of this, you can actually run it through crossover even if you don't have a super powerful Mac. For example, the game runs fine on an M1 Pro MacBook Pro and could even be played on an M1 MacBook Air, albeit with significantly lowered settings. In my tests on an M3 Max MacBook Pro, Phasmophobia ran flawlessly with 80 plus FPS at high settings. There was some stuttering at the start while the shaders were getting compiled, but that was about it. So crossover is definitely a valid solution here, especially for Macs with 16 plus gigs of memory. Also, with this method, you can use mods for single player games and there's a 14 day free trial. To use Crossover, click the link in the description, enter your email, and download the app. Then, after you install Crossover, you must click the Try Now option for the 14-day trial. If you need a longer tutorial, visit our video on that. Just note that the experience with Crossover can sometimes vary between updates, so don't be surprised if it suddenly starts to break the game. If this happens, check our site for the detailed instructions, or you'll have to research this on your own. Sikarugir is currently the most popular replacement for Whiskey since the latter got discontinued by its developer. Think of it as a DIY version of Crossover. It's free, but it's not as reliable or user-friendly. I personally prefer Crossover, 
but if you are on a tight budget, you can give Kegworks a go. As for the setup, you first need to install Homebrew, then Sikaru Gear itself, then Steam, and then the actual game. The process takes a bit more time compared to the other methods here and so is beyond the scope of this video. For detailed guidance on how to set up Sikaru Gear, just click the respective video in the description and it will show you exactly what to do. So this brings us to the conclusion of today's video, and if you are interested in exploring more popular gaming titles you can play on your Apple machine, you should check the videos that will now appear on your screen or simply browse through our channel. Also, in case you found this content helpful, we'd greatly appreciate it if you like the video and subscribe to our channel. Take care and see you in the next one.